Hello everyone, this is Mary Lynn Halland. I'm the Secretary General of the IFSCC. It's April 2021, so I'm talking to you from the temporary world headquarters of the IFSCC in my apartment in New York City. I'd like to take a few minutes today to explain who the IFSCC is, what we do, and how you can benefit from being a member. So what is the IFSCC? It stands for the International Federation of Societies of Cosmetic Chemists. We're a federation of 50 national societies in 80 countries and we're growing. Last year, the Society of Cosmetic Scientists Nigeria joined us. We're dedicated to international cooperation in cosmetic science and technology. If you're not already a member of your country's Society of Cosmetic Chemists, or Society of Cosmetic Scientists, go to ifscc.org in the Member Societies tab and you'll find a listing of all the societies associated with us. Our goals are to advance cosmetic science, to encourage research, to foster relationships, provide educational programs, publish scientific and technical literature, hold an international scientific event every year, sponsor international awards. We were formed in 1959 at a meeting in Brussels. There were eight founding national societies and soon after three more societies joined. And as I said, our most recent addition was last year. Our first Congress was held in Munich in 1960, attended by 350 delegates from 16 countries. So we've grown a lot. We now have 16,000 members from 50 societies covering 80 countries. And we divide the world into three zones. Zone one is Europe, Israel, and Africa. Zone two is Asia, the Middle East, Australia, and New Zealand. And zone three is the Americas. The countries shown here in a darker color are the original founding societies of the IFSCC. If you belong to any of our 50 member societies, you're automatically a member of the IFSCC at no additional charge. It's included in your society's annual membership dues. We have a pretty standard governing system. The council has the ultimate control of the IFSCC and each member society elects a representative to the council. The council members speak on behalf of their society at our council meeting, which is once a year. The council hears executive and committee reports, discusses topics of interest and votes on all our major decisions. The executive body, the governing body is the presidium. Societies nominate individuals to serve on the presidium and there are 12 members total. The nominations are then voted on by the council and each zone has at least two presidium members at, every, at any time. We also have a representative from future host societies of conferences and congresses. The Presidium meets twice a year to discuss issues of concern to you and your society, to ensure we're running the organization efficiently and smoothly, and to continually improve our offerings to you. Normally, I'd show you a photo of our current Presidium, but due to travel restrictions, we still haven't met um, in person. So. Here's our, the list. Our president is Dr. Katz Yoshida of Japan, but perhaps you'll recognize a few names from around the world. These people represent you and your society and your zone on the Presidium. We hold an annual event every year. It's either a conference or a Congress. A conference is two days of lectures and posters. We usually expect about 800 attendees and the final conference is this year it will be, uh, would have been held in Cancun, Mexico. It will be held virtually. And IFSCC members receive discounted registration at our annual scientific event. The amount you save on your registration is almost always more than your annual membership dues to your society. So your society dues more than pay for themselves. Our Congress is a three-day event with 1,500 attendees. And starting in 2022, we'll hold a Congress every year. 
We have awards at our Congresses. We give an award to the best applied research, best basic research, and best poster. At the conferences, the best podium award is called the Johan Weikers Award in um, memorial of a past IFSCC president. There's the conference poster award and the host society award. We also have awards for young scientists. The Henry Masso Award is for the best paper published in our IFSCC magazine. To be eligible for the Henry Masso Award, you have to be 80, I'm sorry, no more than 40 years old on the day you submit your paper for publication. So you can be 40 years, 364 days old, submit your paper that day and be eligible. The Maison G. de Navarre Young Scientist Prize is awarded to the writer of the best essay written in response to questions we post on our website. And this is a contest for scientists 35 years and younger. The winners are um, sent to um, the next Congress to receive their award and we pay up to 5,000 Swiss francs of their travel expenses. So it's really a nice prize. We give out the Henry Masso Award in even years and the Maison G. de Navarre Scientist Prize in odd years. We have lots of education programs and some are hosted with our member societies and there are many advantages to the member society. It brings internationally esteemed experts to your country. So your members don't need to travel for a world-class scientific event. The IFSCP, IFSCC pays for practically everything and it boosts the reputation and membership of the host society. There are four education programs we do with our societies. The Ekaterina America Cosmetic Education Program is a two-day intensive program in societies that, uh, that are located in countries which are economically challenged. The International Speakers Program is a, generally providing a keynote speaker or a workshop leader for an annual meeting, but we can provide it to a society for any meeting they have. Prior to a Congress or conference, we often offer a pre-event education workshop or workshops. And when the Presidium has its spring meeting, we generally hold a one day seminar in conjunction with our meeting with our local host society. We have one award we give directly to our societies. This is the Lester Conrad Education Prize. It funds three years of education initiatives it's very flexible. Our societies propose what they'd like to do with the prize money and the committee decides the, what society is making the best use of it and they're the winners. The goal is to increase membership and the recent winners were Peru and Bulgaria. They get 8,000 Swiss francs over three years. We hosted, uh, we began the IFSCC webinar series a year ago it features internationally recognized experts speaking twice a month. We broadcast it live with a live question and answer period after the presentation. And a full length recording is available on ifscc.org. You have to register and log in. We do make a five minute preview available to the public on YouTube. We publish the IFSCC magazine, which is the only global publication purely on cosmetic chemistry. It's published quarterly. It's free to our members. And if you attend our Congress or conference, you get the printed compilation of last year's articles, which we call the Golden Book. And again, young authors published are eligible to win the Henry Masso Award. Cosmet is our proprietary database. We've been building this for over 20 years. It has all of our magazine archives starting in the year 2000. This is the only place you can find the individual articles from our magazine. It's the most comprehensive database on cosmetic, cosmetic science abstracts anywhere. Today, we have nearly 94,000 items in Cosmet and we add more every month. We recently improved the search feature so it's easier to use. And this is the only place you can see the papers and posters presented at our IFSCC congresses and conferences. And that um, 
library begins from 1995. You can access this for free as a member of the IFSCC and you can print out full papers for free. We also have available monographs, which are in-depth discussions of selected topics with an emphasis on practical usage. And they were written by industry ex experts and available only on ifscc.org in the publication section. Four or five times a year, we send out a newsletter to keep you current on our activities and the activities of our member societies. So we have upcoming Congresses and conferences this year, as I said, in Cancun, the last conference, 2022 is London, 23 Barcelona, 24 Iguazu Falls, Brazil, 2025 France, the city will be announced later this year, 2026 is Adelaide, Australia, 2027 will be determined this year and it will be in zone one. These events are held in September or October. We have lots of online reference materials and many are only available at ifscc.org. The magazines, the full magazines, not the individual articles are available. We have excerpts from Cosmetic Science Classic, a virtual library of textbooks and reference materials that you can search by author or topic. Many of these are out of print. This is the only place you can find them. Again, the full length webinar recordings are only available on ifscc.org with registration and login required. We are putting verbatim English transcripts on more and more of them for those of you who want to practice your English oral comprehension. So to review, you get the IFSCC magazine, access to cosmet.com, our proprietary science database, live and recorded webinars, invaluable science scientific reference materials at ifscc.org, the opportunity to win prestigious awards, on-site educational programs in conjunction with your national society, of course, once COVID is over, and membership in a global organization of cosmetic science scientists. So that's it, the IFSCC, One World of Beauty. Thank you.